Welcome to Skillsop channel and in this tutorial we're going to be creating this dark and light mode using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And before we move on to actual tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. So uh, for my uh, code editing, I will be using this uh, visual code editor and as you can see here i have two files one is index.html and the second one is styles.css and please ignore this one that's for my screen recording and then when we open our index.html you can see here i have basic uh, html code that's what we need in order to start our project and I have named it as dark and light mode tutorial. And uh, let's begin from connecting our styles.css file. To do that, we're gonna type. And the file that we will be linking called styles.css. And another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna link um, our font awesome for that we're going to use cdn as you can see here i have opened uh, cdn library and i will <clears throat> and i will leave a link for you in a description of our video uh, let's copy and paste this code here right after our styles linking and basically that's it um, now we can start adding our toggle for for turning dark and light mode and on the right I have uh, this blank page which is what you see from here um, basically you will be seeing our results as I keep adding code and styles the updates will be here on the right so let's begin we're gonna create div for our toggle and we're gonna give a ID called toggle and let's add some icons as well we're gonna use this indicator as our uh, toggle button and in between this we're gonna add two icons one for light mode and the second one is for a dark mode Let's copy this. We have, um, let me just rename this first and then I'm going to explain. So we have two buttons with class moon icon and sun icon and classes for uh, font awesome. Let's rename this as well because it needs to be sun. So as you can see here, we have two different icons. Um, that's it from here. Now we can move to CSS. Let's first style our body. So uh, basically we have uh, defined our uh, styles for body and as you can see here we have dark background and we also used uh, flexbox to center our content. Let's continue. We're going to add uh, one more uh, style for our body which, which is going to be used when the toggle button is active. So the background color that we have here, the dark one will change to another color, which is going to be white color. So far, there, there is nothing changing. As I said, when the toggle is active, the background will change to white. And now let's uh, style our toggle button.
So that's it for our uh, toggle button styles for now. So we uh, created this toggle and added some shadow. We changed the cor cursor to pointer. We also added border radius, background, as well as uh, adding height and width. So let's continue. We're also going to give some styling for each our icon. And to do that, we're going to say i.moon-icon. That's the class for, for the icon, which we set here. Like So we're going to give styles for moon and sun, both of them separately. We also need to add one more style in sun icon because uh, let's add it first display none so we give display none style for sun icon so we are hiding it because uh, we we want to see only one icon by default which is moon the dark dark mode and when we turn on the light mode this icon will change to sun icon which means it's a light mode and now let's uh, add some styles for our indicator So uh, we just added styles for our indicator and as you can see here on the right uh, we see some changes. We added position, width, height as well as background, a gradient and we did some transformation. We scaled our uh, object and added some shadow as well including transition. Let's continue. And now, as you can see, I added some styles, toggle.active.indicator, which means when the toggle button is active, it has an active state, our indicator, which is here, it's going to move to 160 pixels. We give left 160 pixels. Let's continue. We also said that sun icon, when it's when the toggle button is active, will be uh, displayed in line. And for the moon icon, we we will say display none. It will disappear. As I explained before, like uh, when the toggle is active, moon icon disappears. And the sun, sun icon comes over and we're in a light mode. And final thing that we need to do is we need to add some JavaScript. Let's go to index.html. And here, I think we have one extra closing div tag. Let's remove it. So yeah, we have opening, closing, and that's it. And after the div, let's add some JavaScript. Sorry guys, we have a little mess here. So this shouldn't be here. I don't know what happened. This was supposed to be here, the body tag. I see the problem is, you know, I have outer closing tags. And because of that, this keeps changing my... Um, This keeps affecting my tag so let's see again what's the problem we have body opening closing 
let me see why it's highlighting red uh, i think it should be fine uh, let's continue sorry about this i see it was showing that because of the script tag which we opened and didn't close it was showing the body in a red highlight and for the script uh, we're gonna basically write a script which will um, change the state of our toggle like when it's clicked it changes to active and when it's active um, the toggle will use styles which we have for active and uh, let's go back and let's write it Okay, let's save this and let's see what we have got. When we press, yeah, we have light mode. And when we click again, we get the dark mode. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And make sure that you click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you again.